Hello everyone to this new wheel setup video. In this review I would like to show you a wheel combination from Fanatec for advanced racing gamers and real sim racing fans. It is quite sure that these kind of club sport F1 gaming wheels of this brand are the most popular ones for real Formula 1 fans regarding F1 gaming. Here you can see the current Club Sport F1 2019 wheel, which is pretty similar to the other advanced TSL Elite wheels. With this configuration you can purchase from Fanatec. I tested this wheel for quite a while now and I would like to tell you guys my first impressions and review with the F1 2019 game and its functions. Like every setup you can buy in the Fanatec online shop, you have to set up your equipment step by step by selecting all the parts. Pedals, base and the wheel itself from scratch. For my PlayStation 4 setup I decided to buy the combination of CSL Elite pedals, the CSL Elite wheelbase for PS4 and the 2019 F1 wheel for about 850 Euro. When you open the three packages you can notice that these products are manufactured from high quality because it really feels like opening an Apple product. When you take a closer look at the different parts which come with this wheel package there are also some buttons to attach on the wheel itself. And there is something very fancy. These kind of Fanatec wheels come in a special bag. So there are many many parts you first have to sort. When you hold this wheel for the first time, it's just like, okay, wow. The build quality is really not that bad. And you can notice that quality is far better than the builds of all Thrustmaster wheels you can buy. Especially regarding the handling, the buttons and the shift pedals. And additionally, the cool thing about that kind of wheel is that you have a quick release function to insert your Fanatec wheels on quite every Fanatec wheelbase like a real Formula 1 driver. In comparison to the Thrustmaster F1 Ferrari wheel add-on, this one also looks much sleekier and much more like a real quality product. You have to remember the Thrustmaster add-on for the T300 and T500 wheel in this combination is also not that cheap. To use this Fanatec wheel you first have to download the latest driver. Therefore you have to connect and calibrate the wheel with the PC like shown in the video manual made by Fanatec. By the way I decided to use a few different colors to equip my Fanatec with the separate button attachments you can use for this wheel. After that you are ready to play. My first impression on first flying lap was wow okay awesome. This driving feedback feels really impressive. The force feedback and the vibrations are very different to cheaper alternative wheels because the resilience is much better when driving faster corners and you really have to catch the wheel which is quite nice. But here is my first negative point. In my opinion the CSL Elite wheelbase isn't designed that good because you really have to use a very thick plate to mount because otherwise it will be wobbling while driving. I placed a layer of simple cork to avoid that problem in that case. The Fanatec pedals are very good because you can place them individually and fix them with some very stable screws. You also can add three pedals for other racing games if you need them all. In my opinion they are also very robust and stable so they cannot slide away that easily. But now let's move on to all the wheel functions. The shift pedals are very quiet in comparison to other wheels depending on how hard you click them. You also have some switches in the middle of the wheel and now this is important, you can only use these switches for PC. Yes, unfortunately this is true. These switches and wheels at the top right and left side are not usable on PS4. Not even for F1 2019 which is a shame and very sad. Fanatec says that only the game developer can influence this full functionality for the game itself. So Codemasters, why do you deliver a game for PS4 which is not ready to use all F1 2019 wheel functions? Yes, okay, you have two sticks on the wheel which you can basically use for changing fuel mixture or ERS and of course 
all the other simple buttons you can use without any problems. But I think you pay a lot of money for additional buttons you cannot use for the PS4. Okay, PC could be different. Concerning the driving experience and the force feedback, you will definitely make the best decision to buy such a Fanatec wheel if you are a real racing fan and you play a lot of sim racing games. But the thing is, for the PS4, the CSL standard F1 set is the best choice because you cannot use these additional buttons in the advanced versions. This is why I can not really recommend this wheel for the PS4 because you pay much more money for functions you cannot use. Okay, maybe for the PC that will be different. So if you consider to buy a Fanatec wheel at the moment, I can really recommend just buy the standard F1 CSL Elite wheel. So I hope you enjoyed this little review and you guys got a better impression of more professional wheel setups. I would be very happy if you liked this video, please comment and subscribe. Until the next time for the next wheel review. Bye bye.